The concept of flipped learning works well with online learning, but with some small changes. In a traditional flipped learning format, you try to determine what the students can do at home on their own more efficiently and more effectively than they can in the classroom. Traditionally, this has been some things for which students need to work at their own pace, such as reading and writing. Doing those things at home allows them to do it, to do it over again, to do it over and over again, to take their time reading something, to read it again, to write a draft, to rewrite that draft, and to finally do a final copy. Those make sense uh, in flipped learning and they make sense in uh, online learning. In terms of what the students would do normally in a classroom, they would come to class as they could online with their questions and with the opportunity to share what they know. So sharing what they've learned is no longer as possible because you can't possibly have 30 students all talking at the same time in an online classroom. Instead, this is one of the small changes you can make. Encourage students to do their conversation, to practice, even to ask their questions in their groups online using social media platforms. They can talk to each other, they can practice their conversations, they can do it and do it again, they can record themselves and see how well they're doing. And finally, when they feel very, very confident about what they've been able to accomplish, they can share it with you as the teacher, as well as with other students. Similarly, in a flipped learning environment, students are often expected to come to class with their questions, with what they haven't understood. Of course, they can still ask the teacher when you do meet online, or they can email you with that sort of question, but it's also important and useful in an online teaching situation to allow them to speak with one another, because often a student can share the same answer to a question that the teacher would.